Hi, today I'm going to tell you about this free program, Emule. It's a program for sharing files between your computer and other computers. And you can share uh, audio files, programs, documents. It's free and you don't have to open an account. I like to use this program because uh, it's used in a lot of non-English speaking countries so I can get foreign language films and movies. And before we get started, I want to remind you that your files are going to be saved in most likely your C drive. And they're going to be saved in a folder called Incoming. But you can change where you want your files to be saved. So just remember this. After you install it, go to Options and go to Directories. And you can see where your files are being saved. Okay, let's go to the email website. Let's download it. Download the installer. Save it on our computer. Okay, there we go. It's been saved on our computer. Let's open up the installer program. I'm just going to say shared usage. Anyone that uses my computer can use this program. I don't have different accounts for different people that use my computer. Okay, we're going to go through this wizard and this wizard is going to try to make it so that we get the best connection possible. Okay, use UPnP. It's going to look for the best TCP and UDP number so that other people can connect to my computer quickly and I can connect to their computer quickly. Last time I tried this, it couldn't find numbers that worked. It said it failed, so maybe this time it's going to fail, maybe this time it's going to work. Okay, it failed. So, um, I'm going to keep going. Uh, if my ISP tries to block or slow down Emule, yes, I will use that. I want CAD and I want ED2K. finish okay I can look for files right now but when we did that UDP TCP test uh, it failed so we're gonna get a slow connection let me go into options I'm gonna use the test again let me test Okay, there we go. It's successful now. Why? I don't know, but it's successful now. Okay, let's connect and let's look for some files. You can look specifically for audio files or video files, or you can just use the any category, which is usually enough. Uh, let's look for some classical music, and let's look for some documentaries. What you have to be careful with with Emule is suspicious files. If if it says it's the Mozart's entire collection and it's only five megabytes, that's a little bit suspicious. And if you download that, it's probably not going to have what it says it really has on the inside. It might be a virus or or something else. So you want to go over here to availability and look for the files that a lot of people have here. Five hundred people. I don't know what that is. BBC documentary, that's kind of vague. How about uh, Rolling Stones documentary? 270 people have that. 
and it's 784 megabytes. That sounds about right, about how big the file would probably be. And I'd recommend that you stay with these files that uh, a lot of people have. If you really, really, really want a file, okay, then try to get it from one or two people. Classical music. Again, looking for anything suspicious. 2009. Uh, looks like it's a collection of some classical music, 700 megabytes. 350 people have that. Chances are 350 people aren't going to download something that, that is fake. Documentary. You can go into transfers. And with this program you have to wait in line. The longer you stay online, the higher up in the rankings you go. So in other words, it's not easy to just sign on, get a file, and then log out. You have to wait a little bit. Okay, 400 people have that documentary and we're connected to two of them. And all these other numbers, we're waiting in line. We're 13th in line. We're 60th in line to connect to that person. We're 82nd in line to connect to that person. So the longer you wait, the more people you'll connect to and the faster you'll download. I'm going to show you another website that I go to. It's called Very CD. It's a Chinese website. And I'm sure there are websites like this in English. You just have to look. And the reason I like to use this kind of website is because it has uh, files that a lot of people have and they're not likely to be fake. And again, I would go to an English website and you could probably find the same sort of thing. Some of them are MP3, some of them are uh, PDFs. Some of them are DVDs.